sometimes when you when like when you play Justin, it, it's like he has so much experience that he know. It seems like he knows what to do in every situation that you put him in. So it feels impossible, even though it's really not. Like, yeah, and and sometimes a lot, a lot a lot of times what happens when you're fighting a better player is that, or a seemingly better player is that you give them more credit. Thank you. Thank you. You give them more credit than they actually deserve. So like, you you might play them safe when you when you could when you probably could have taken more risks. And it's called like it's called just like it's it's all mental. Treating honestly. treating them like scrubs basically, because that's how Justin treats everybody else when he plays them mentally. He just goes in. He doesn't care. He's gonna treat you. He's gonna walk up to you and not press anything because he's gonna assume you're a scrub that's gonna do wake up ultra. Yeah, it's not. It's not as simple, but just like basic. That's the concept that he he plays with a certain amount of confidence where it seems like anything he tries works, and anything you try doesn't, doesn't work. work. It's, a, it's a certain. It's like magic or something. I don't know. But I do understand what Chris says. Like sometimes when you play like a friend, like when you play Justin. It feels sometimes like you could never be that good, but it's just a matter of like practice and experience. Like, you got to put in the time. Yeah, you, you like people you forget. Like he's been playing for like you know like years at professional yeah. level. Like it's not just like he picked up the game yesterday. He's well, magically better than you. You know, to this day, that's all he chooses to do. He can just sit at home and play Street Fighter Four. Same training. I don't remember me Shinto work. Yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah, we have job. <laughs> no, Justin has a life, but no, no, no. No, yeah, like, yeah. But like he can, he doesn't have the pressure of, of living the same lives that we do. If I don't go to work. I can't. I can't keep my place. <laughs> I don't have. I like. I am on my own in New York City right now. That shit is crazy. Like, you know, I got rushed into manhood mad fast. Like, 22. Like, do you realize that? Like, if I lose my job, I'm finished. Like. So I have the pressure of like having to keep money in my pocket. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think everybody that plays like in tournaments doesn't want to be Justin, but they want to be as good or better than him. I want to beat Justin. I want to get as good that I could put up a fight against Justin. Nah. I don't want him to think that it's free. That's that's all. Like. I'm not free. You know why, Justin? You guys don't understand. Like, it's the same reason I'd be winning. He has an imagination. They call, they call him a psychic, man. The, the beast. The psychic. psychic. Yeah, I know why. That, that, that goes like a little retarded child. <laughs> <laughs> no, his reaction time is crazy. It is. And Daigo also trains the player to, to lose to him. He does things that, like, and he's, he's like, doing things in patterns. He wants to see how you react to it, so next time you do it, he's gonna set you up for a punishment. I never, I never looked at it like that. I don't know. He did it to EO at the Nationals. He fired six Hadoukens, and every time he fired the Hadouken, what did EO do? One more, he, the, threw, he, he threw, threw, the, fierce, he threw a fear, so he was training yeah. him to do that. So he's like, oh, what? So what did he do on the sixth Hadouken? He didn't fire one. He uppercut it. No, he didn't fire it. He uppercut it instead. Yeah, he, uppercut <laughs> he, he trained EO to lose. Wow, that's so, wow, I never looked at it like that. There's like, this thing called like Yomi levels that, that this guy David Serling came up with. It's supposedly like uh, like Yomi level one. It's supposed, it's, it's, I'm not 100% sure on it, but it's basically like you know that I know that you were going to do that. But then like level two is like, you know, you know that I know that you know. Like, you know, situational things where like you, for every situation you knew, like you, you know how to bait them to do what you want. Yeah. But then if they know that you're going to bait, then they'll bait you to bait. Like and it's just like it, it just keeps going, it keeps going. Yeah, so like, the higher level forward. players, sometimes they'll look like they're not doing anything, but they're really just like trying to set you up for something, like to make you pun to make you punishable, you know? It's crazy when you have an understanding of the game and you can really see like all the mind games going on like dynamically. Like you can just see them going on, like it's crazy.